Hello, Eagles Nation. This is your boy, the Almighty One Green Talons. Coming with a video here on um, TikTok. The guy you see above you right now, that is offensive coordinator Jim Bob Cooter, who's supposed to be the offensive coordinator for the Indianapolis Colts. He's one of the guys the Eagles are interested in. So apparently they made a call out to him, and I'm not exactly sure if he accepted the job or not, but I don't think he did because I believe he's with the coast as an offensive coordinator. And that, that is true, that means he's going to want a title added to his position, which will make him probably offensive coordinator and assistant head coach. And I don't think the Eagles are going to go that that direction with him. they done it once before with um, Dude Staley, who you guys remember as the running back coach for the Philadelphia Eagles. They, they, they made him offensive coordinator and I mean, assistant offensive coordinator and running backs coach. So I don't think that Jim Barkuda is going to take that title just, just offensive coordinator. I doubt it very seriously, but I can tell you one thing. It is not worth the time and effort to find someone that has been around the NFL for quite some time. And then in the process, I could tell you this. The Eagles are still making calls out there. We need an experienced offensive coordinator. Let me repeat. An expensive offensive coordinator someone that can call a different type of style of offense that might suit um Jaden Hurst's um talents and use the entire talents around him with AJ Brown, Smitty, um and among other wide receivers we have on the roster and won't be and the won't be planning to get in the near future. So it's just crazy to me for them to make a call at a guy who's already back in the NFL because you got to remember the guy was with the um he was with the, the Detroit Lions as you see the um the, the the clothes that he has on him. I think he's been out, out, out of the league for at least a couple of years, I believe. And if that is true, that's why he's on the coast um roster as offensive coordinator. They brought him back there. But Shane Steichen calls the plays at Indianapolis Colts. Not this man right here you see above me. So, with that being said, it is just plain, dumb, outright to call someone who's already at one position and not going to offer him another title as assistant head coach. I don't see that happening in the Eagles near future because, like I said, they only had one guy at that title, and that was apparently three or four years ago. So, um, the Eagles need to do better at hiring position coaches that can groom and, uh, and and develop these players we have on our roster currently. Because if you guys remember, the entire season the Eagles played a messy of an offense, the same style, no um, no different looks, no um, no options. Um, the read the, the the read option play was taken out of the offense. The pad, the RPOs, the the motion. The Eagles had motion last year. For some odd reason, they don't have motion this season, and it and, it, and it's sad to actually consider a guy who who doesn't who hasn't been in the league in quite a while, and probably don't know a thing or two about motion offense. So I can't really say much better about Jim Bob Cooter because he's been in the league in a while, and at one point he was considered as a posit a possible head coaching candidate many, many years ago. Um, this guy, had, had I said, he bounced around the league on different teams. I remember him being with the uh, Miami Dolphins at one point, I believe, in his career. Um, he might have been at a, he might have been at a couple of other teams I can't mention, but I do know he he put the Lions at one point, and I think he was at one point with the Miami Dolphins at one point. So he has a pretty good um, resume and for and being an offensive coordinator, but as for as an experienced head coach, that's something we do not need at this point in time. We need an experienced offensive coordinator, and this guy is not too much of an offensive coach because he's been out of the lead, like I said, for a long period of time. And so, with that being said, you guys enjoy your Sunday. I'm going to enjoy mine. I've had a long week off of the snow. Ain't been able to, ain't been able to do any work, you know, and I will be going back to work tomorrow. Thank you, God, for that to get my um 
trash him back. Uh, I think I got a clone and shoulder to give myself back in the motion of things. But um, enough of me at this moment. Just, 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 just giving you guys a head up of what's been going on. And there, there will be more to come. It's just that this guy here is not our guy and probably won't be our guy. You know, like I said, on the way he becomes head coach, I mean, on the way he becomes or Jordan Eagles coaching ranks, he has to have two titles. He's already an offensive coordinator and been there most of his career. But for him to be at the Indianapolis coach, which means he's starting over again as offensive coordinator. But if he jumped from one team to another team at the Philadelphia Eagles, he's going to want more than just offensive coordinator. He's probably going to want more money, and he's going to want another title added to his name. That's all I can see that happening if he does jump. But I don't see him becoming – I don't see I don't, I don't see, I don't see the Eagles signing this guy. I don't see it. I really don't see it. So, um, anyway, I'm out here. You guys enjoy your um, Sunday. Uh, again, more news to come. As the Eagles continue their search for an experienced offensive coordinator, an experienced defensive coordinator. Peace.